The topic of mental health and suicide is dark. It's complicated. It isn't the most sympathetic cause. And that's precisely why it needs our attention. We are living in a very pivotal moment in our nation's history facing the collision of multiple pandemics, COVID, racial injustice, and the mental health and suicide issues that Americans are facing. Um, there are connections among all of these causing structural gaps that have existed between our nation's healthcare system and the social supports necessary for informed interventions. The realities are that the pandemic around mental health and suicide um, in this country will end up affecting more lives than COVID itself. We have a responsibility to create a clear narrative in this country and start a new conversation. We need a conversation so honest and so loud around mental health and suicide prevention that it's impossible to ignore because the American public deserves it. We must reflect the truth of the human experience through real stories and humanize those stories so the American public can realize that they're not alone. They're not alone in this pandemic. It's all hands on deck. We need the field, both the private and public sector, to come together to speak with a unified voice for all Americans, particularly Americans and communities and populations that are disproportionately served and impacted by the lack of access to healthcare systems or mental health care um, and suicide prevention uh, crisis centers in this country. So we have our challenge, um, but for the first time in history, I feel like the country or the nation now has a national strategy with national priorities. We need to infuse science and evidence-based research with humanity and inject that into culture and society through narratives that are effective. We need to humanize those that are struggling, take their stories and reflect their truth as a human experience. We need more of these voices of influential people in this country to start speaking out. And it's not just celebrities, it's CEOs to let their employers know that mental health and suicide prevention here at this company is going to be the next corporate culture imperative with a focus on improving what we're doing internally and what we're doing with communities all across this country that we serve, what we're doing with our consumers in our various business units, but what the U.S. national response to mental health and suicide prevention is doing besides providing a roadmap, a strategy, and a priorities. It's also letting the American public know that we got your back. Storytelling has always been very powerful, right? So we take these powerful stories and their portrayal of our shared humanity and align them with voices of influence and everyday stories that can affect the general population, but also have communities and populations be able to share their stories and talk to each other. Because that's your tribe. And have a conversation around specific uh, needs of that 
specific population, like black and brown America, like the LGBT community, like veterans. The hope is that they'll be able to inspire change, give hope, help people move through it with resiliency. Thank you.